If you see people strolling around the city dressed in animal costumes like these this weekend, no fear, they are here for one of the biggest annual conventions we have in Pittsburgh. And Ross Gadotti has more on Anthrocon 2023 and how attendees bring a lot more than some very creative costumes to Pittsburgh. If you stand outside the Weston Hotel here in Pittsburgh, it's pretty apparent that Anthrocon 2023 is on the furries have returned. They came one after another, carload after carload, every type of person portraying every type of animal and more. Here come the furries. We have members that come from all six inhabited continents spanning over 40 countries. We anticipate upwards of 12, 13,000 attendees. Each with their own story and fursuit. It means a lot to me to be able to be myself without being judged, which is a big part of the furry fandom. Some costumes are basic, like this box and Crocs combination. Others are more elaborate and I might add expensive. It was about $2,400 uh, for just the head. And the bodysuit that I, uh, me and a friend created was about seven grand altogether. And yes, these outfits can get very hot. One participant likened it to maybe wearing your grandmother's old couch with a tail and nose attached. Temperature above 75 degrees Fahrenheit. Uh, I will wear a cooling vest underneath it. And this menagerie means a lot of money for the city. We're estimating this year's economic impact to be around $14.5 million. Pizza Parma on Liberty Avenue even changed its name for the weekend and a lot more. We do have a lot of specials for them and we do convert our menus as a Pizza Parma to Furryland Cafe. Just makes everybody come closer. As far as customers, it's there's a fun level and then there's a furry level. Anthrocon 2023 will run throughout the weekend. Of course, there's the big parade tomorrow, followed by the furry block party, which is, I've been told, something to see. Downtown Roscadotti, KDKA TV News.